Grandmaster Sassi Kiran scored a convincing victory in round four of the Gibraltar Masters with the black pieces. He joins us in our studio. Sashi, a very interesting game and a nice win with the black pieces. How much of it was preparation? Well, she had already played uh, uh, this game until uh, Queen E7 against uh, Maksudlu in 2018. I felt uh, black had, uh, I mean, a, a complex position and probably C equal, so I kind of repeated it. I was actually surprised that she actually went for this position because the, the computer was showing it's just equal and then the game goes on, yeah. And with a lot of uh, pieces on board, uh, I, I, I thought it was quite uh, a good way to get a game. And that's what you did. And this was a very interesting moment because you took a while here before you played Rook C6. Yeah. What was your thought process? Because it is with the idea to sacrifice the exchange in the next move. I guess so. I guess so. Because uh, once I... Uh, uh, I mean, give the exchange, I have one pawn compensation and then knight is jumping to b6 and probably the other knight is coming to e5. I was not exactly completely sure, but uh, it looked quite nice at the board, yeah. I mean, I thought maybe just uh, knight c3 was quite uh, possible to do with this, but anyway, I was going to play knight b6 and there was bishop d6 and then it's simply, I mean, it's probably reaching more or less the same position and takes and knight of d7, followed by king e7 and bishop d4 and so on, yeah. Yeah, and uh, after this, I thought I had quite good compensation, although I misplayed the position somewhere. Uh, um, Before we go forward, I have to ask you about this position a little more. That Did you always think about sacrificing the exchange for bishop d6? Was this something that came naturally to you, that you have to fight for the initiative this way? Or how, how were you justifying this uh, material well, imbalance? I, uh, well, okay, I mean, I had take, taken the pawn on c4, so... Uh, it's obvious that my pawn structure is too bad and uh, I have to make some concrete ideas. I was even thinking about uh, going castle and then giving f for this rook, yeah. But okay, you wanted to I, give one of your Yeah, rooks. one of the rooks, okay, yeah. I, I was, um, <laughs> but then I thought maybe after the exchange of queens, uh, my king, king would be better placed in the center, so I decided to give this one, yeah. That's a very interesting point that you actually preemptively thought that it would go into an ending and you wanted your king to be centralized already. Yeah. All right, and after this, uh, how did it continue? At what point did you feel that the position for white collapsed? Because even after you gave the exchange, the game goes on. You have some initiative, but it's yeah, compensation. Yeah, but um, here, um, I somewhat, I, I, I think uh, here somewhere, I probably misplayed the position somehow. After rook b1, I should, instead of going uh, bishop b5, I should just go f6 first, so that the knight goes to h3. And in the... Um, because in the game, I, I allowed f4 and knight f3, and the knight was actually coming quite fast to the game, yeah. So this was quite an obvious improvement. And uh, here, after rook b1, uh, I think maybe I should probably just go rook b4. And it looked quite nice, yeah. And uh, she probably have to play some more like knight d1. And um, somehow, I yeah, still did not feel, uh, feel there is a clear win, yeah. But maybe it's just bishop b5, yeah, something like this. And it, it's a lot of pressure, yeah. And you can knight always d3 and play so f6 as well. So knight d3 yeah. is one of the ideas. Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, it's very good compensation, but uh, I was not able to find a clear win, yeah. But uh, here, after uh, this position, f4, knight d3, knight f3, knight b4. I mean, here, I, 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 after knight e5, I thought actually she had equalized. After rook d8, probably just knight takes c4 here. I mean... Uh, Bishop takes c1, rook c1, I don't know, it uh, doesn't look uh, so promising as it was before. Uh, rook d4, uh, rook d4 yeah? yeah, probably rook d4 and uh, maybe some initiative, but I, uh, I mean, the, the position before was much more appealing to me. And then when did it collapse for her? Was it at this moment after uh, rook yeah. c4? After rook c4, I think it's probably gone because the other rook is entering, yeah, so, and after rook d2, I think it's probably already gone, yeah, because uh, the spawn on g3 is quite weak, yeah, so, uh, and she cannot... Um, knight c2? Yeah, knight c2 is coming, so she had to take rook b4, I guess, and, uh, and after this, just uh, all the king's side pawns are falling, yeah. In fact, uh, in the end, uh, she fell into a, a trap, yeah. I mean, we can this, just do it like this. Bishops, bishop c4, uh, bishop c2 was kind of a trap because uh, I thought she had to go rook f1 and then I just take on uh, g3. But then knight e1, uh, bishop, e f bishop b1, and, you. and knight g2, bishop e4 is just zugzwang. Yeah, this piece is lost. The knight there. is trapped yeah. there. But tell me one thing, Tashi, when you gave the exchange after that, at any point did you doubt your compensation? Or were you mm, always very... Uh, 
Not really. I never doubted my composition. Yeah, because uh, the pieces were playing. All my pieces were playing, and uh, it was quite uh, unhappy. Knight on g5 was stuck. Yeah, so it was not really. Especially the dark square bishop was yeah, very strong. Yeah, yeah. All right. And how do you feel about your performance so far? Well, I would say the games are shaky, but uh, still a long way to go. Uh, it's not even halfway, so I hope to improve. And tell us a little bit about the experience of playing in Gibraltar. Uh, this is probably my fourth visit to the Gibra I'm a Gibraltar, and um, well, the playing conditions are quite nice, and uh, I'm happy that uh, there's a lot of Indian food available. <laughs> and uh, in general, I, I mean, I, I think it's quite nice to play in Gibraltar. Yeah. And you're here with your wife, with Radhika. Yes. <laughs> and uh, well, actually, we plan to uh, visit quite earlier and I, we only managed to visit only now, I mean together. So um, it's the first, I, I hope it's not the last year. We do as well, well have a great time here and we look forward to more such games and to have you back in our studio. Thank you Sashi for your time.